Welcome to Ready Z80 and in this video I'll be converting this joystick for the Amstrad CPC that I made into this joystick. I was fortunate to obtain this Amstrad CPC 464 from an old friend. As a teenager we played on this computer for many hours and I also did some programming on it. When I received it, it came with the original green screen monitor, an external disk drive, and even a printer. But it didn't come with a joystick. The Amstrad released the J1, JY1 and the JY2 joysticks, but they were poorly received and are hard to find nowadays. So instead, I just made my own. And here it is, with a bunch of parts lying around. As you can see, it's just a bunch of uh, switches, tactile switches, a ribbon cable, and some simple wiring. The joystick is just a, a fancy switch. And this joystick works fine, but you know, these switches do get a bit sore on your fingers. They're not the best of switches. The wiring here is exposed and it has broken in the past. So I really want to find another joystick that, uh, that I can put together and uh, which is much easier to press and play with. Eventually I came across this. It was from a cheap uh, Chinese store. This game controller also came with some funny LCD game for five dollars and I thought hey that controller looks pretty good let's see if I can convert this into a, an Amstrad joystick. Before I start rewiring the controller let's have a look at how the Amstrad joystick port works. The connector of the Amstrad is a nine pin male D socket and looking towards the port the pin numbers are one to five and six to nine from left to right. The joystick naturally has a female nine pin plug with the pins mirrored horizontally. This is important as I'll be wiring this plug and I need to be careful when soldering the wires. You can actually connect two joysticks to this socket. This was done by either connecting the second joystick into the first via a socket on the joystick or using a Y splitter cable. Diodes are used to prevent crossed signals as most of the pins are shared. The primary joystick is called joystick 0 and the secondary called joystick 1. The pins are connected as follows. Directional pins 1 to 4, pin 5 isn't used, pin 6 or fire 2 is the primary fire button, pin 7 is fire 1 which is rarely used and pin 8 is the common. Joystick 1 uses pin 9 as its common to distinguish between both joysticks. The circuit is a simple switch. If the up button is pressed, it just creates a circuit between pins 1 and 8. The computer then reads this as an up. Same if the fire button is pressed. Reading what the joystick is doing can be done by the joy command in BASIC where N is joystick 0 or 1 and in machine code by calling BB24. Either method will return a value of the joystick state. One byte is returned where various bits are set depending on the state of the joystick. If up left and fire are pressed at the same time, on joystick 0, joy 0 will return 21 and call BB24 will return register A and H with 15 hex. It's up to the programmer to work out what to do with this information. Let's now have a closer look at the controller. So here's the game controller. As you can see it's got directional buttons that work and also the circular buttons that are working as well. They depress these two buttons here or analog controllers are fake also there's nothing on this side or anything else okay so let's have a look inside Like there's a circuit board in here. It's screwed down. Let's take these screws off. This actually looks like the one I designed myself. It's just got some exposed tracks here for the buttons to to make the connection. It looks like it's just a, a simple switch circuit here. Close the connection and, and activates the uh, the button. It's got some 
diodes here, which we don't really need in this circumstance. This must be with the setup here. You don't want uh, two different connections uh, uh, interfering with each other. And also has some shared ground signals by the looks of it. So let's have a look how these buttons actually work. I've taken off one of the buttons and as you can see there's a just a rubber connection here on the switch. The switch goes down and this rubber connection squeezes. Inside the switch is a conductive disc and when the switch presses down on the circuit it will close the circuit. As you can see the exposed tracks here have a, a crossing pattern so that the disc touches both tracks will close the circuit. All right, I have my uh, multimedia in continuity mode. So let's see how this is wired up. Looks like there's a, a track going down through here. Looks like that's connected to multiple parts of the, of the circuit. So these top tracks all are connected, which is good. And on the other side, looks like it comes through this one here. So that should be connected and this one here, and this one, that one up there, and over there. I can skip over the diodes here, don't need to worry about the diodes, just connect directly from these ends of the diodes to my switches. Now, the Amstrad joystick requires seven wires if you're including you know, the second fire button, or fire one, this has only got six, so I think I'll make a sacrifice and just, just use the six wires here, reuse these wires, and just only have one fire button, because not many games at all have the second fire button. So now it's just a matter of wiring up the one, two, three, four directional switches, and the, the, the one button switch, and include uh, one ground. All right, the first thing I should do is remove these six wires, so I can reconnect them to the directly to the switches. So these are the wires. We've got red, orange, blue, yellow, brown and green. So let's make the red, orange, blue and yellow the directional switches and the brown the ground or the common and green the fire button. There's the first wire in to the, the red into the up. So now we've got left, right, and down. Okay, so let's get the other wires in now, left, right, and down. Okay, so there's the uh, four left, right, up, down wires in. Now it's a matter of putting the fire button in and the ground. And lastly, the ground needs to cover both left and right sides. And there's the complete soldering, eh, not that pretty, but it's there. So we've got red, yellow, orange, blue, left, right, up, down, and green for fire, and the brown for ground, going across both pins. And at the other end of the joystick is this connector here, some sort of male connector. connector. Let's have a look inside, see what we've got. Looks like the uh, it's just connected to six header pins there. I'll desolder all that so I can connect it to my D9 plug at the back of the Amstrad. Okay, I've got my desoldered wires now. We can throw that out, don't need that anymore.
Okay, so here's my D9 connector. It needs to be a female connector on the joystick end because it's a male connector on the Amstrad. It's got a little housing here. And you can just see there's some pins there. Now it's important that I get the right pin set up here. And you've got to remember it's mirroring the back of the Amstrad. So the pin over this side here should be pin number five and then pin number one over there, six to nine over there. So what I should now is just place some solder in these joints here just to make it easy for me to solder the wires into the socket. Okay, now I've got some solder already into the, the pins to make it easier for me to solder the wires in. Now I've just got to get the right colours into the right pins. So we've got pin 1 is up, pin 2 is down, left is pin 3, pin 4 is right, pin 6 is fire 2, which is the primary fire button, and pin 8 is the ground or the common. So based on my wiring here, red is up, blue is down, Left is yellow and right is orange. Alright, got uh, the four pins in now, let's flip it around and get the ground and fire buttons in, pin 6 and pin 8. Okay, there's the wiring done on the plug side. So now I'll just get this into the housing and get the game unit back together again and um, plug it in. All right, I've plugged the joystick now into the back of the Amstrad. By pressing these directional keys should return ASCII up, down, left, right arrows and the X key should return for fire. So let's do up, press the up key, yep, down, left and right. Looks great. And also X for fire. Bang, bang, bang. Excellent. So now let's play some games on my new joystick.